Good morning everybody. Back with another video today. Back with topsoiling. Now, okay, so one of the guys commented in the last one and said, hey, do you guys not do site work? Yes, we have more employees than just me, Al and Cody. They're out on another job right now. And I will be filming more jobs. It's just like I said in the last one. I have to be more careful about whose job sites that I'm going on to, just making sure that um, it's all good and that the homeowners are okay with me filming. So that's why kind of on the more site end of stuff that I haven't been filming that much. I'm just working here in the shovel. I uh, currently am digging up some red sand. So we ended up getting red sand uh, directly from underneath us. Our whole yard is actually red sand underneath us. And then underneath the red sand, it turns into beach sand. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm really happy with how that turned out. Uh, I was not expecting to hit red sand. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely uh, a huge plus. So now I don't have to import red sand whenever I do need it. Uh, you don't need much red sand. I know a lot, some guys do cut with more red sand and that's fine. That's a mixture that works for them. But uh, yeah, I just try to stay easy on the sand because uh, nobody obviously likes sandy commercial soil. Um, although it is nice for the landscapers, uh, you know, grass sometimes have a hard, has a hard time going and you don't want something that you put it down and then a little bit later it just turns to muck or sorry, dust. So we're going to do this. We're going to be in the yard all day. We got uh, trucks coming in and out all day. It's going to be a high energy, high impact kind of day with the screener running. We got Al, we got Cody. So let's turn this thing around. Let's get things rolling, let's get things started, and most of all, let's work hard. All right, do it. So the red sand is just below this pit run, and the good thing is in doing this, getting the red sand, I can go down and I can get this pit run and the pit run can be sold too. The pit run is really useful stuff for making roadways or filling in, uh, backfilling stuff. So I'm getting a lot of really good material here. And uh, yeah, it's super exciting uh, that we found this red sand. A lot of you guys were wondering in the last comments, what's up with the, uh, the case video? Why is it ticking down? And like I said in my last video, I'll explain all of that. Don't worry guys, it's all good. Nobody got in trouble, nothing happened. It just, uh, I'll explain all of it in another video and uh, we're gonna have an awesome, awesome, uh, something kind of come out of this situation. So uh, always a positive to it. But I've been in this shovel for, well, in and out of it for, I guess, two days now in between meetings or in between uh, site work or anything else that I'm kind of been trying to catch up on. And uh, yeah, I think we got about a thousand ton of red sand pulled up, a thousand ton of beach sand. So I'm just working away at getting more sand dug out and uh, getting it all casted up. Like I said, we got WCI in today. They're hauling like crazy. So we need to keep up to that demand. So we're operating today with uh, two loaders and the shovel. Now, obviously I know that's a lot of fuel going out and wages, but when you're making it and it's coming directly off the belt, that's a good thing.
Michael's over here mixing up some soil. Cody's hauling beach sand away from me right now. Al's mixing up some of this beautiful commercial soil that sometimes people think is not our commercial soil. Sometimes I think that it's our uh, homeowner stuff, but that's just the quality that we run with. Multiple loaders. We got a water hole there. That's no good, but if I were Al, I probably would scrape this mud. Okay, so what I'm doing is cleaning up all this slop. We got a bunch of rain, and it's just making a mess. So I'm using the 170 to just get back all this slop. So let's mount this bad boy and get to work. So I got all that done up. I got the muck cleaned up, it's dry. They're just getting enough soil made up so that Al can start screening. Cody's gonna be bringing him dry material. I need to catch up and edit for today's video because I have a busy afternoon with some meetings with some guys. So I need to get done on this stuff. So let's do that. How you doing guys? Going to a little job, already got it on the go. Uh, client putting in a Gen X generator keep his house going when there's no power and needed a propane line trench dug put a propane line into the generator so we went in there I've already got the trench excavated We're just waiting on the gas guys to uh, show up to lay the to lay the pipe and then we can backfill and clean it up we'll get a little bit of footage on that for you also doing a little bit of site cleanup for him, building a bit of a splash pad for his sump pump discharge line. It's creating a little bit of a mud hole, so we're gonna uh, dig a little bit of a pit, put some clear stone in, just to stop that mud from developing from the sump pump turning on and off. And just doing a little bit of dress up around his property with some uh, stone laneways and a little bit of low spots that we're collecting a little bit of water gonna fix that up for them so we got our Terex Mini X on site we have our skid steer on site and Kenny and I are getting this job done so I'm just heading back to site right now we had to pick up a dump truck and grab a little bit of clear stone finish off the pit so once I get to site I'll show you guys what that looks like and we'll get some good shots for you just got here to site guys so we got our dump truck We're gonna dump a little bit of clear stone we didn't need much got about three backhoe buckets here Kenny in the dump truck I'll be running the 257 cat skid steer
Right, so I know you guys want some more sight work. Right now we're kind of fighting over the GoPro, Taylor and I. And the best thing you guys can do to help out is subscribe, like, watch the video, spread the word. The more likes, more videos we get out there, the more likelihood I'm gonna get my own camera. And I'm on site all the time. So I'll be able to film lots of stuff for you, show you what we do. We do so many different things. It's really hard to get into the ball. So make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends, help us get to 10,000 subscribers. We're getting there, we're almost there. Let's get some work done. So you guys can probably tell, I don't operate equipment all that often. They more or less do all the ground stuff, all the coordinating, site layouts, grades, elevations, that kind of stuff, but I can run the equipment if I have to. And out of all the equipment we have, this 257 skid steer is probably my favorite thing to operate. I love it. It's fun, it's comfortable, it's a nice piece of equipment. Let's go for a ride. Right now, Kenny's already excavated out the pump pit that we need for our splash pad to stop this mud hole from developing from the subline. So I'm just carrying in some clear stone, clear stone that we just dumped here. I'll show you guys what we got. This is what we got here. As you can tell, not super nice material when it comes to water. Sump pump dishing out there. So we're just gonna fill this little hole up with some stone, stop the erosion, stop the mud. That should help them out. The perfect amount of stone. That's fruit planting if you ask me. Look at this day guys. Woo! 
good day to be above ground. So I was just uh, smoothing out some stone dust, kind of been tracking back and forth on it, stirred it up a little bit, so I was just flattening her out again. I'm gonna be driving on it a little bit more. Here comes Kenny out of the field. He must be done leveling off that sump pit, cleaning up all around there. Just gonna move this dump truck out of the way. We have a little bit of a problem area right here by the coverall. I guess he had some water pooling along this edge, so I'm just gonna build that up a little bit for him. Get it sloped away so the water drains away. So we'll get that done and uh, I'll save some storage space and some battery to show you some of the cleanup on the gas line trench. So I will talk to you in a little bit. It's almost lunchtime. Gotta get some food, keep this body moving, get some work done. Again, beauty day. Kenny. Big Kenny leaving. All right guys, so today is current day Friday. The video you guys just watched, everything happened on Wednesday. If you watched the entire video, I appreciate it. And I also wanna remind you guys that this sweater is my favorite sweater and we currently sell that on our website, kwconstruction.ca slash merch. Link is in the description. If you watch the video guys, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment. Give me some feedback. I will probably film tomorrow, so I'll catch you guys on Monday with another video. Have an awesome friggin' weekend, guys. Enjoy it. You deserve it. You work hard. We'll catch you on the next one.
Okay, I didn't forget about you true pages the channel that watched the entire video. So if you did, you guys hear that voice squeak? So if you did watch the entire video, I want you guys to comment down below, Speed Demon. Why Speed Demon? Because Corey was a speed demon in that skid steer, showing you guys exactly how fast it is. So if you watched the entire video, comment down below, Speed Demon. I appreciate you guys, the true pages of the channel. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. See ya.